状況を確認する<笑>ベータの出現予想地点は旧町田市一帯地表到達は70分以内攻撃目標は当横浜基地その目的は不明司令部はハイブの奪還と推定しているわ地表到達後敵の先陣がこの基地に達するまで最短20分、うん、このベータ軍は佐渡島ハイブに属していた連中でデータから推定される規模は2万人多分軽く3万以上いるはずねこう21号作戦のことを考えると最初に分かってる数字なんて全然当てにならないわ That's for sure There's no end to these guys once they show up They kicked our asses with their sheer numbers last time We really take on 30,000 of them with just the 250 TSFs on base? いまから約10分前、帝国軍はこちらに戦力を回すことはできないって通知してきたわ。各地からの増援が到着次第、順次回してくれることにはなっているけど。いや、デフォルシュナーキャラだね。一二五事件、こう二十一号作戦と立て続
of the second lieutenants, our three idiots. Yeah, it's incredibly reassuring to have them with us, all the more so in a situation like this. I wonder if Her Highness played a role in this. The Imperial Armor Army itself can't send us back up, so... レーザー球が多く残っていた場合、風間、玉瀬、鎧の活気は、AAM ランチャーを装備。前期急に指揮走行は標準とするわ。それに、状況から言って、施設内の近接戦も十分あり得る。施設内での発砲許可が出るまで
could cut the tension in the room with a knife right now. The first lieutenant was right. If we can't protect this place, Alternative 5 is the only hope we have. There's no way I can let that happen. Not after I've come this far. Y yes? Oh, okay. Understood. What's going on? Hang on. I think Sumika took me down to this floor once. Hey, Kasumi. Sure this is where Sensei is? Hi. Okay. She's not trying to repair the sauna right now, is she? I mean, I guess it's important, but... Huh? What for? What, laying the pipe? Yeah, no problem. Huh? Oh, that's all? Alright, that part as well. Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, you don't have to thank me for that. I wanted to help. Kasumi sees Sumika almost as a part of herself, so it had to be tearing her up to know that she was suffering like that. I mean, I should really be thanking you. You're the one who helped me find the resolve I needed. Thank you. I almost forgot. Kasumi ran out of Sumika's room crying yesterday. I wonder what that was about. By the way, what happened to you back then? I was pretty worried about you. I'm guessing that means Sumika said something to her to try to push her away the same way she did to me. Since Kasumi said she wasn't going to read our minds anymore, she might not know how Sumika really feels. If you say so, but hey. I'm not sure what happened or what she said to you. But whatever it was, it wasn't how Sumika really felt. She was just acting cold because she wanted to keep me safe and away from the fighting. You know that, right? Hi. Well, she was trying to do the same for you. After all, she thinks of you as an extension of herself. You've always been with her, even when she was just a brain, isolated from the rest of the world. You were trying your best to reach her, teach her how to play Cat's Cradle back w before her personality was stabilized. I know she remembers that. You were probably trying to teach her the most fun and exciting thing you knew, weren't you? You probably weren't reading Sumika's mind when she was going off at you, so I bet... She didn't want to learn the truth of it. Oh, she said something. Cosme. Of course, Cosme doesn't have the memories or experiences needed to understand how complicated love can be. Even if she has access to Sumika's memories, it's not easy to piece together the emotions associated with the images she saw. And more fundamentally, she probably doesn't have the base knowledge needed to interpret them. Oh, she projected the images to her, didn't she? She said that to Kasumi too? But if it came as such a shock to her, that means this was the first time she ever heard about it. Ooh. I had no idea. Having Sumika say something like that, that to her must be more painful than I can even imagine. Part of me thinks they should have just used their reading abilities to clear everything up. That's just the simplistic, insensitive thinking of someone who doesn't know what it's like to have that power. She was so scared, she couldn't even use her abilities anymore. She's probably afraid to learn the truth. I finally understand why she was saying that. 
I always thought she just meant it was challenging to use her abilities, but I did it completely wrong. I have something I need to apologize for. I've been way too casual about telling you how to use your powers. I didn't think it was a big deal because I didn't personally find anything wrong or scary about it. Logically, I knew it wasn't always a good thing to be able to directly read people's emotions. But I guess I convinced myself that it'd be less awkward for you if I talked about it openly instead of tiptoeing around the subject. I'm sorry. You mean that? Well, glad to hear it. The human heart is really complex. Hi. Usually when people talk to each other, they can take the time to respond tactfully. I can only imagine how scary it must be just to see someone's feelings like completely bare like the way you do. But you know, it's actually pretty tough not being able to read others' thoughts sometimes, especially for someone who's as dense as me. How long is this fucking hallway? <laughs> the reason I can get by is because I have friends who will always tell me what I need to hear when I screw up or need a little extra encouragement. Like, we're gonna get to Yuko and, like, the fight's over. We, we did it. <laughs> But you can't get friends like that without working for it. So even if you and Sumika wind up fighting, as long as you don't give up and find a way to settle your differences, your friendship will still come out of it stronger than ever. The harder you work for your relationships, the more invaluable they become. It's not easy, of course. It never really gets any simpler. But I think working towards something you really want is a prize in and of itself. That's something everyone in Squad 207 and all the Valkyries taught me. You and Sumika already have a relationship like that. In fact, I'd say you'd understand each other on an even deeper level. You two will be fine, even if you aren't reading each other's minds. It's totally normal for people to recognize their differences, not to know everything about each other. You've been through some awful things yourself. Everyone has. Saying how you feel about a situation to help someone else isn't wrong at all. You definitely shouldn't stop doing it. If you love them, you have to keep doing it. Tomorrow, you just do things the way you always have. Don't think about that right now. <laughs> right now, our base is in the middle of a serious crisis, so can we maybe like stop walking? Because apparently this hallway is way too long for just walking, Jesus Christ. Hi. But we're going to keep it safe, no matter what. So you keep doing what you can, what you can to protect the things you care about too. <laughs> and I'll do everything I can to help you. Hi. Sensei. Thank you, Kasumi. Hi. So this is why you gave me that security pass earlier. Right. But when did you get me registered down here anyway? Oh, because of Sumika? Huh, just half of it. Where to? What, Hangar 90? The one from the ghost stories? It's just something I remember from the previous timeline. They were saying how back when this base was an Imperial military base, there was this research team called Unit 90 or whatever. They were involved in human experimentation. They said this base was built on top of their lab. There was supposed to be some massive underground hangar on the outskirts of our training grounds where they did all their experiments or something like that. Goto? So you mean Unit 90 was real? ええ。人体実験はともかく帝国陸軍で対ベータ生物兵器を開発していたのは事実よ。人の口に蓋はできないか。秘密保持の難しさを思い知らされる話ね。Listen, I don't want to judge too harshly, but like, the their fucking little movement for walking, it just looks like someone just like, like you got the, someone's just like clicking and dragging it around in Photoshop. There's like, eh, did it, did it, eh, up, and 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 up. <laughs> like, obviously that's what they did do. It's just the character model moving in a set pattern. It just goes, do do but like it just looks like how I'd imagine if you just like clicked and just kind of like. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up so much. It's 
especially when the footsteps... It's not even in sync with the footsteps either. <laughs> People must have pieced together their own ideas based on the little information they got. They even tied it to the G-bombs. Of course not. Right, of course not. Jesus, that's a long password. Oof. So this is Anger 90. This place is huge. Can't even make out how far it goes. Beak hanger. What the hell are they using something this big for? Is that not the Susano Mark II or whatever? Is that the Susano? What the heck? It looks completely different. Mark four. A hybrid? So it's, it's got some backup weapons besides just the big old fucking particle cannon. That goes way beyond arm to the teeth. Holy shit. This is completely different from the Susano Mark II. The real XG-70. That makes sense. The XG-70 was supposed to be able to attack and gain control of a hive all on its own. Alternative 4 picked up where the research was left off. With all this heavy weaponry, it's a literal flying fortress. You definitely see this thing being able to take over a hive without any support. What was this? Was this what we're going to use in our next mission? Yongatawa,オリジナルハイブ攻略用に。次の作戦は今組み立て中の新型を使うわ。当初の腹積もりでは新型の運用で洗い出された問題点をクリアしてから、ヨンガ。だけどまさか新型を失うとは思わなかった
I take Sensei at her word, we've taken care of all the problems we know about. If we can finish the Sun on Mark IV, that means the original hive is as good as ours, right? Absolutely. You can count on me. Now that I've seen this, I'm even more determined than ever. <laughs> it's not just about Sumika and the Susano. It's for Mrs. Kioska, the mechanics, the guards, to protect everyone on this base. I, you know what? I fucking knew that. I remember, I... God, was it the last recording session? It had to have been. Was it? Ah, fuck, which one was it? I know there was a recording session where I was like, nah, no one's safe, even Mrs. Kioska could be on the line. Look who's on the fucking line, and look whose life's on the line now, because they're coming at the base. I swear to God, I swear to God, if you fucking kill off Mrs. Kioska and fucking prove my point, I'm going to be so pissed. She ain't deserve that. That, that one won't break me as much, that'll just be like, ah, oh, fuck man, that sucks. But like, god damn, if you do that and fucking just prove my point, I'm gonna be so pissed off. I won't even be like, ha, told you so. I'll be like, god, motherfucker, son of a bitch. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay.